Welcome to the Planeswalker Project. One of the more popular strategies in Commander is that of tribal decks. Elves, goblins, dragons, and slivers, these decks are known for being easy to pilot, fun to build, and full of potent synergies. One of the more popular black tribes is zombies. These undead beasts are powerful, and if left unchecked, they can grow into a powerful horde that can take down even the most resilient of boars. For a zombie tribal deck, a common theme is blue-black zombies, with the majority of the creatures being in black, with some of the more support creatures and spells being in blue. The best commander for the longest time for this combination was Grimgrin Corpseborn. This guy was a beast who could sacrifice creatures, power himself up, and force opponents to sacrifice their cards. But then we return to Innistrad. Coming from the Eldritch Moon set, we received yet another new legend for Blue Black Zombies, the long-awaited siblings Gisa and Giralf. We actually already received these two as separate cards back in the 2014 Commander Precons, with Gisa being in black and Giralf being in blue. These two were both powerful on their own, and even find a spot in my Blue Black Commander deck. This new card, however, gives a lot more interaction with your graveyard, letting you recast zombies from the graveyard. Gisa and Giralf also cost a mana less, meaning they have the potential to hit the field a turn earlier than Grimgrin. The deck aims for a bit more of a slower style play, unlike Grimgrin, who has a very heavy handed ruthlessness that can make fast and dangerous kills, especially if you include some Voltron strategies. Now enter the Hour of Devastation. Nico Bolas, the devious elder dragon of magic lore, has unleashed three new powerful gods onto the plain of Amonkhet. These terrifying gods heralded the destruction of the plain, and among them was the Scarab God. This frightening new god has powers that are far beyond that of Gisa and Giralf and Grimgrin. While in each of these three legendary creatures respective commander decks, there are a multitude of cards that might find homes in the decks of the other two legends, the Scarab God offers you so much more. Being able to singe opponents each turn based on the size of your horde is an exceptionally powerful ability. Say you cast Army of the Damned, and the 13 tokens are still in play by the time the next turn rolls to you. 13 damage will be spread around to each opponent, and then you get to scry 13. Did I mention you can scry for the amount of zombies you control? This almost guarantees that you will have the smoothest and most control over the next draws of nearly any commander in the game. And if that weren't enough, the Scarab God comes with an additional, dangerous activated ability. For just 4 mana, you can eternalize a creature in a grave. Unlike other eternalized cards, which usually only target themselves, the Scarab God gives you some necromancy ability, letting you raise any creature you want, whether it's yours, your opponent's, and it gives you a 4-4 black zombie version of itself. This is a force to be reckoned with. Your opponents normally will have a hard time deciding to trade one of their creatures in a block against your zombie token horde, whether it be on the offense or the defense. But when the very real threat of their creature coming back to haunt them looms overhead, it can become even more disadvantageous for them. Finally, the Scarab God comes with an ability that makes him prime for leadership of a commander deck. Should it die, which is very likely given his threat level, you can return it from the graveyard to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. This is a very powerful ability to tack onto a commander, as whenever you have to recast your commander, you normally have to pay two additional mana each time. But should your commander return to your hand, you don't have to pay the extra mana. This makes him much more likely to return to the board a lot sooner after a wipe, and is a very big threat. Now what's your take on the Scarab God? For me, it's immediately replaced Grimgrin at the helm of my zombie tribal deck, and it's already making huge waves in the deck's performance. Do you think that there are qualities of Gisa and Giralf or Grimgrin that make them better commanders than the Scarab God? Let's discuss this in the comment section below. Remember to like and share this video with your commander playgroup. If you're a fan of the commander content, consider subscribing today. And if you'd like to help support the Planeswalker project and help us make better our content, check out our Patreon and consider becoming a patron today. And with that, I will see you at the beginning of the next upkeep.